it's 3 a.m. It's kind of the middle of summer. In fact, it is the middle of summer and I'm bloody freezing. It's not normally this cold in summer. The last few, well, this whole summer has kind of been weird. It hasn't been too hot. Normally we get, you know, runs of 10 days or so above 40 degrees. That's Celsius for you American folks. Well, they're just big numbers. But uh, I'll put a photo the other day on our community tab of Star Trails with the iPhone 12 Pro. Looks like this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Heading back to what used to be home. Passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again. I was going to come out yesterday and do it. Do this tutorial for you, but the wind blew up and it's been so bloody windy. It's even pretty windy now. For what we're doing though, it's going to be fine. Oop, my wife parked her car right there. That's, that's convenient. But what we're going to do is set up just here and take this star trail photo. Now because there's a bit of wind, actually regardless if there's a bit of wind or not, we need to have on a tripod. So this is where I've got it set up. In fact, you don't know why I've got it set up here like this. Let's go back and I'll explain something. Like all astrophotography star trails, it's really no different. Once you understand how to do it, it's not really that difficult. The most important part is planning, and planning for me involves photo pills. It's a great tool for doing this sort of photo. There's three types of star trail photography, really. One is when there's nice circles, and the circles just go all the way around the photo. Two is when there's just arcs on the photo, so not the complete circle, if you like. And three is when those circles are there and those circles kind of center in to a subject in the foreground, like a building or a tree or something like that. I'll show you how to do all three. Now to get three of these photos, the arcs, the circle, and then the circle around a subject, I'm going to use photo pills. We're going to open up photo pills, go into the night augmented reality. And you see that dot that's up there right there? On the screen right now, that's the celestial south pole. If I point my phone up to that whilst I take a photo, I can pose that onto one of the thirds if you like, and that will give us a photo like we're going to do tomorrow morning. If we wanted to just have arcs in the sky instead of a circle, we would simply move it away from that, so that from that south pole, or if in the northern hemisphere, guess where you point? North, and the dot will just be on the north side. But if you want just the arcs, move away from those poles and you'll have arcs. If you look on here, the arcs that are around the, the uh, app here, that's where the arcs of the star trails will go. If you want to have the star trails centered around a subject, and I'll use you right here, the camera, as that dot, I'll move that dot down to the top of the camera. If I was to set this phone up right here, and take a long exposure photo of those star trails tonight with that dot sitting right there, we would have a photo with stars going all around the camera. Kind of cool, and it's really not that difficult to get your head around. It's pretty simple. So we've got it set up here on a tripod. Uh, we've got the iPhone 12 Pro Max on a tripod, on a little ball head there, on a tripod sitting nice and close to this fence which is electric and it nearly got me before, <laughs> gave me a bit of a fright when I hit it with the uh, aluminium tripod and that would have made me wake up, that's for damn sure. But I can actually see the tail of the Milky Way there. I'm gonna take a photo of that. Eyes on the gold, I lose control. I'm living fast, I've lost my soul. I'm driving to get away. Running through emotions, I am low. So it's on the tripod, iPhone 12 Pro. Doesn't need to be that one. It can be any iPhone at all that takes the night cam app, night cap app. So out that way is south. I established that with the photo pills already. I'm gonna open up a night cap app, set up the star trail mode, and we're gonna get a nice circle of stars out here. One of the best things about, well, there's not really many good things about what's happened in the last year or so, but one of the best things for astrophotographers is there's not many planes flying at the moment, um, so we shouldn't get too many planes flying across the sky. We will get um, shooting stars, falling stars, whatever you like to call them. We'll definitely get some of those because it's just happened that way the last few nights. 
And to be honest, I don't think I've ever taken one of these without having that. So I'll set this up, I'll show you how to set it up and we'll take some photos. All right, so we're going to go into the Nightcap app. We'll open it up. And if you're unfamiliar with this, there's a few things that this app will do, but what we're talking about here tonight is the star trails. We're going to hit the star down the bottom here and we're going to go into star trail mode. It was already set there, testing before. It's going to give you a little explanation of what it can do. It's going to tell you you need to put it on a tripod. It's going to tell you to tap the shutter to finish it and we're good to go. We'll tap to close that. And you can see on this image here, right now there's a lot of stars sitting up there in the night sky. The light that's on the ground here in front is the light that I'm using um, to do this video. We'll turn that off before we start. I've set the timer up here so that I'm not touching the tripod when I actually shoot. And that's it, we're good to go. I'm gonna hit the button. Now I'm going to come back in about an hour to stop that. Just hit the stop button. I'll hit the shutter button again, it'll stop it. Um, the reason for that is that out towards the south from my house, which is where we are, um, my neighbour starts milking cows at about four o'clock in the morning. So I need to get out, he turns a great big spotlight on um, into the dairy. So I need to turn that, um, turn that camera off uh, before that light turns on, because that'll pretty much ruin the photo. So in an hour, we'll turn that off and we should get some good photos. Because we're pointing up towards south, we'll get some nice circles of stars over that hour period. So hang around, we'll wait for it and uh, we'll check it out. So while we're waiting for that photo to take, there's a few things that you want to know about Nightcap app. One, you can export it three ways. You can export it as a JPEG, a high quality JPEG and a TIFF. Um, all I'm doing here tonight though is just exporting it as a JPEG. It's just for this video, just to show you guys how to actually do it, how to set it up and, uh, and that's about it. But you can certainly export it as a TIFF file um, I dare say you can print it quite large with a TIFF file and you can certainly ed get more edit uh, capabilities with a TIFF file and, and that's about it. We'll put the timer on there, leave it on a tripod, it's going to sit there for an hour or so and we're good to go. So if you're new here, everything I'm talking about here today is in the description down below unless of course I forget it and then you guys tell me and then I'll put it in there later but I'll try and remember to put the link to this nightcap app down the bottom here. Also, if you're new here, we're building a pretty good community here on this channel. So subscribe to the channel. You'll do two videos each and every week all about small center photography, usually low light stuff, and uh, join the community. If you have subscribed, you're a bloody legend. Let's get into this. Well, it's been about 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. And I realized when I went back inside that I was a bit longer talking out here to you guys than what I was expecting to be. I didn't get quite the hour. I want to turn this off before the light turns on next door at the dairy. I was a little bit worried about cloud. There's a little bit of cloud out there um, to the west and I was a bit worried about the amount of wind that's blowing if that was going to come across, but I don't think it has. I'll get over here and have a look at this photo. Still windy. We're gonna have a look at this um, star trail photo. We'll turn it off and we'll see what we've got. All right, here we are. Have a look at that. I'll turn that off now. Hit the shutter button again. That turns <laughs> it, looks, it looks pretty good. I'll head over to the camera roll and have a look at this photo. Yeah, that looks pretty bloody good. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were bloody planes. Could be even planes. I'm not sure. That one up the top there certainly looks like a plane. The other ones look like stars. Could even be satellites. Not to worry. That still looks like a pretty bloody good photo. I was hoping that that... Uh, center of that circle would be in the center of the sky up in the top third and it is um, that's a pretty good photo i'll quickly throw this into lightroom and i'll do a quick edit all right let's open this up into lightroom on mobile so here it is in lightroom we'll have a quick look at the image here you see it's a little bit noisy and it's very hazy that's just one of the things that the uh, nightcap app actually does no big deal we'll hit the auto button first with the Nightcap app, I find that the auto button does a pretty good job straight off the bat. So with the, the sky now, what I want to look at is the light. I want to increase the contrast. <clears throat> It'll really make those star trails stand out better. We'll decrease the blacks. <clears throat> and we'll decrease the highlights slightly. And that's made all those stars stand out really well. We'll go to the effects tab and we'll go to the dehazing slider 
and we'll increase that. And that's made a pretty dramatic change to the night sky. Let's get rid of the noise now. Go into the detail tab and the noise reduction. Slide it up, probably 20, 25. And that's good, I'm happy with that. In fact, I'll even use that as our thumbnail. 